Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Brian here once again with another What Did I Pick Up This Week video. Um, kind of have a lot to show off. I'm not going to show everything I have because I've been going to Dollar Trees and I've only found four titles so far. So I kind of want to put that off until later. So here's everything else I picked up this week. And maybe some last week that you know didn't get in the mail until this week. So... Thrift store finds. I went to one thrift store, my local thrift store. They had quite a few Blu-rays this time. A lot of them I already owned, so I didn't really need to pick up anything. But I picked up one Blu-ray when I was in there and one box set. So the Blu-ray I picked up was a copy of a Coen Brothers film called Intolerable Cruelty. I remember when this came out, I actually saw it in the theater. Uh whenever it came out it says 2003 i thought it was older than that i guess not but it's got it's got a good cast here obviously george clooney and Catherine zeta jones <clears throat> uh jeffrey rush cedric the entertainer uh billy bob thornton so i remember in, <clears throat> i remember enjoying this back then like 20 years ago <clears throat> it has a digital code I'm not sure if it actually works or not, but I'll give you guys a freebie. So there you go. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you guys got it and if it worked or not. And then the box set that I picked up, which I was I was I was probably gonna pass on it, but then I looked inside and it's like hasn't been watched at all, and it goes for like fifty bucks online. I got it for ten. This is the complete box set of the Tudors, the complete series. So you got it for 10 and it's like it's like this little it's like this big book inside um all the discs are in good shape for a dvd and all of them are in like plastic sleeves so they don't rub up against the the plastic so season one season two uh season three three discs and then season four and then there is one bonus disc as well so i don't know i kind of want to attempt to watch this i know i heard i haven't heard the best re uh, reviews on this show but i don't know it was like i get kind of like game of, game of thrones almost before game of thrones but i don't think there's any dragons in this i don't think but it lasted four seasons, and this particular set is 34 hours and four minutes on 15 discs. So, not a bad pickup for 10 bucks, if I do say so myself. Uh, hang on, let me just try to build a stack here. All right, so got a few eBay pickups, um, four in particular. Um, two DVDs. I, you know, you know me. I try not to buy DVDs if there are there are available on Blu-ray or 4K. But sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, I've always wanted to own this. Unfortunately, it only comes in full screen, from what I remember. The case is not in the best condition, but the disc is fine, so I can just change the case later. Actually, yeah, I do have a a, a a spare case in the other room. Uh, I believe this is from 1998, if I'm not mistaken. This is put out by Lionsgate. I don't know why there's no Blu-ray yet, but I will see. Um, this is Hell Cab, starring Gillian Anderson, John Cusack, Laurie Metcalf, Julian Moore, Paul Dillon, John C. Riley. Uh, great cast here. You got two directors, uh, Mary... Sabolski and John Tintori. So I've never seen this, but I've always been intrigued by it. Definitely wanted to add it to the collection. This was only like six dollars on, on eBay, so but that was a cool find. I know it's out of print too, so even better. Um yeah, it takes place uh for like four minutes ninety eight, it's ninety six minutes. It's the darkest day of the year, winter solstice, 
6 o'clock in the morning, 20 degrees below zero, when an unsuspected cab driver picks up his first fare. Unaware of what's to take place, the cabbie drops the strange passenger, setting into motion an unstoppable, unalterable, unfathomable series of events. It's as if the cab mysteriously draws the most bizarre and dysfunctional people in the city. Exhausted and afraid, the, dri the driver summons all his courage to make it through his shift, but will he survive what's become the longest night of his life? Interesting. So, there's the caddy right there. I don't remember, I don't know who, 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 I think that's, I don't know what, what character that is, like who plays him, no idea. Um... This car is pretty cool. She's got the cab on it. Let me know, guys, if you guys have seen Hell Cab. All right, the last DVD in this this uh, uh, update video is a double feature from Frolic, uh, Frolic, uh, was it Frolic Films, Frolic Pictures, something like that. Uh, two horror films that are not released on, actually not released on the DVD at all. This is a, uh, it's not a bootleg because they're legit, but yeah. Um, we got The Chilling and Backwoods. Uh, so let's see here. Um, the Chilling is about um, the bodies, the bodies at a crime Cryogenic, cryo, I can't say that right. Cryogenic center are defrosted by accident and turn into cannibalistic zombies. Backwoods is about a hillbilly father and his idiot son terrorize and murder campers. So, thought those were the artwork. Definitely is pretty awesome. But I heard the movies are okay. But let's. I'll have to show you guys. So, uh, the Chilling is from nineteen eighty nine and Backwoods is from nineteen eighty seven. So, can't wait to check those out. Uh, from uh, Garage House Pictures, this is an out of print title. Um, got Blood Stalkers here from 1976, 93 minutes. Um, degenerate men create a night of depra dep depraved terror. I can't talk tonight, guys. Uh, for two helpless couples who become their prey, so I've always I've always remembered this movie from this scene right here with the axe through the chest. I don't know. Um, I think has, this has to do with I guess hunters and some sort of creature in the woods. I have no idea. But you get the same artwork on the disc too. And you got this nice little essay essay back behind the artwork here by Robert W. Morgan, who was the director and writer of this picture. And then the last eBay pickup here is from Silver Bullet Pictures. This is a brand new factory sealed, and this is from, it's also from Rock Bottom Video Classics, and it is a film called <laughs> Chubbies. <laughs> it's a Halloween horror film, apparently. Um, it's Halloween night at Moody's Bolorama, when, where Samantha and her friends are having a party. Everyone's having a great time until the Chubbies arrive. From the distant planet of Snurd, where sex is outlawed, come the Chubbies, a race of grotesque and horny little creatures, hell-bent on global domination from, by invading your body through any orifice they can find. Interesting. Uh, when the teens are locked in the bowling alley with the Chubbies, uh, their only hope for survival is um, Cass Corridor, Space Lawyer. Intergalactic gore and anal hijinks abound in this sci-fi horror thrill ride from Silver Bullet Pictures. Sounds like um, ghoulies and, you know, whatnot. I don't know. It's definitely an interesting synopsis there. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but we'll see. All right, so 
I'm gonna do horror pack. Uh, let's let's actually not do horror pack first. I'm gonna do grindhouse video. So they're still having their uh, Black Friday sale, or whatever they're calling it. Uh, I only got one this time. Uh, it says it's region free on the on on their website. It says region B on the back here, but I I'm pretty sure it's region free. Uh, this is an Arrow release from the UK. Um, this is <clears throat> Dinner in America. This is not a horror film. This is some sort of drama, black comedy type movie. Uh, this is from 2020, and this is directed by Adam Carter uh, Ramir. That's how you say that guy's last name, I believe. This compares it to Welcome to the Dollhouse meets Napoleon Dynamite. With an added dose of endlessly quotable dialogue of Heathers. So it's a mix of everything. So they do it yourself love letter to being authentically yourself, finding your voice, and being punk as fuck, apparently. Uh, stars Kyle Gullner. Who actually I like I like him as an actor. Emily Skeggs, Skeegs, I don't know how to say her last name. Uh, well, produced by Ben Stiller and Ross Putman. So Ben Stiller had some, uh, some, some hand, on hand on here. So that's cool. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I watched the trailer for it. I really thought I would enjoy it. So I picked it up for like 12 bucks. I got my horror pack in today. Uh, they were doing some pop up, a pop a pop up sale or whatever, trying to clear the warehouse. I guess toward the end of the year, uh, they sent me this cool sticker. Picked up two titles. Um, didn't go too crazy with it. So for I think this was like five bucks. I picked up Blood Feast, the remake, with. Uh, Robert Rustler, Caroline Williams, uh, Sadie uh, Katz, um, who else is in here that I would recognize? Uh, I don't really recognize anyone else. So yeah, definitely want to check this one out. I, I enjoyed the H.G. Lewis version, so I definitely wanted to check this one out. I've heard mixed reviews on it. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. So, figured for five bucks, I'd pick it up. And then I've always wanted to check this one out. This is the horror. This is a horror pack, uh, Raven Banner collaboration. I've got the sadness. Heard it's really a crazy movie. Um, definitely not for the squeamish. Especially if you guys don't like seeing people's eyes get ripped out or gouged or whatever. And I've, I heard there's a lot of that in here. So, yeah. You know, it's not my favorite, but I'll, I'll watch it. But I like anything to do with zombies or viruses or whatever. So, definitely looking forward to that. Alright, so we'll do a little bit of uh, <clears throat> Walmart's. Black Friday sale, disappointment, whatever you guys want to call it. So I got four titles here. I wasn't really too happy with their selection this year, just like last year, but I got a little bit here, so that's that's fine. So most of these everyone else had already picked up previously, but it is what it is. So for 10 bucks, I picked up the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of the second Venom movie, Let There Be Carnage. I have the first one. I haven't seen this one yet, so I figured I'd pick it up for 10 Uh For $7.96, I finally picked up a copy of The Northman. I haven't seen it yet. I've been putting it off, but I'll buy it for 8 bucks. Uh, another... A, another eight dollar movie uh we got sonic 2 i have the first one so i figured i'd collect the second one as well and then you know i've heard a lot of different reviews on this one but i do enjoy elvis's music so i picked up a copy of elvis for 10 bucks 
So that's all I got from Walmart for their Black Friday sale. I don't think I'll be buying anything else from them unless, you know, I come across something out of the ordinary because I went to three locations and they all had the same stuff. So it is what it is with them. So I'm going to go to Amazon. Two titles here. Finally got my my other copy of Earth Girls Are Easy. I had to open it because once again it was a loose disc inside, but it's fine. So I'm going to give this to my brother next time I see him, probably on Thanksgiving Day. A uh, little bit of corner damage there, but that's fine. I'm not going to try again for a third time. Uh, this came late last uh, late last week and then also i think it came either late saturday or early sunday morning but i finally got a copy of beast for 10 bucks this is annoying though a little tear there but it is what it is i'm not gonna bother telling them that they suck give me a new one so we got that and then i only picked up three new titles this week um yeah, I'm probably going to regret buying this, but hey, I have the other three in the collection, so I bought a copy of Jeepers Creepers Reborn. I know, I heard it's awful, but I'm a completionist when it comes to horror, so I had to pick that up. Um, had to pick up Pearl. Loved X, definitely wanted to check this out pretty soon. Definitely enjoyed X. And then, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me post about this. Um, but yeah, I did, I, this is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Definitely my favorite Tarantino film. That is Reservoir Dogs on the 4K Steelbook. I love the, seeing the guys there. And of course, the ear comes off when you lift the slipcover up. Classic, classic film right here for sure. From 1992, starring just about everybody under the sun. You get uh, Harvey Keitel, Tim Roth, Chris Penn, Steve Buscemi, Lawrence Tierney, Michael Madsen. The list just goes on and on. So, love it. So, that is everything for this update video. So, let me know if you guys have see seen any of these, what you thought of them, what you guys picked up this week so here's my little my <clears throat> quote unquote little stack I'm trying to get it all in one frame here and I'll, I'll zoom in for you guys too yeah let me know what, what I should watch first and I'll catch you guys I don't know hopefully soon like I said, I'll be going to a couple Dollar Trees this coming week. And uh, let's hope I find a boatload of Blu-rays, maybe a couple of DVDs. All right, take care, guys. Bye.